everybody. So we are going over my uh, inventory for the beginning of 2019. So I didn't have numbers for 2018 until midway through 2018. So I was not actually paying attention to like loss and gain, but um, I am planning on going on a low buy for the majority of 2019 as of right now. I don't want to go on a no buy because I don't think I'm going to be able to stick to no buy rules. Uh, I haven't figured out how I want to do that yet, but we are going to be going over my numbers going into the new year. And we're going to start with primers. So these are my eye primers. We will get to those right after we go through these. Um, hopefully everything is decently in focus. Unfortunately, I am filming on my phone with my little, like, janky camera rig, which, uh, February, I'm planning on trying to get a new, um, actual, like, camera camera and have a more professional setup, but for now, this is what we're dealing with. My total for just regular face primers is eight, and I have this Revlon one. This is the... Uh, perfecting primer. This is 001. I have not used this yet. I don't even think it's been opened. Um, this is the Too Faced Hangover RX. Everybody talks about this one and I was keen to try it especially because I'm pretty sure it went on sale during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Um, so I picked that up. This has been used once. This is a Fit Glow Redness Reducing. It's actually a moisturizer, but I use it as a primer when I use the foundation, which you will see. Uh, this stuff is amazing if you have redness because you can just put this on and you don't need foundation if redness is an issue for you. Like, I don't have like extreme rosacea redness, but I do have some pretty noticeable redness because I'm pale and this works wonders. So I keep this in my uh, primers. This is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. This is in my panning games. Um, I've been a little bit lax about updating. I've had uh, several health issues come up this year, unfortunately, but I am feeling a lot better and getting back on the horse. So this is actually most of the way down. We are all the way down here now. There's no new line yet but this will be gone hopefully before February. But this is that. This is the Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Illuminating Primer. I got this because I really enjoy Juice Beauty as a brand. It's a cleaner brand and it's really nice. It's more hydrating. I have not used this one yet, but I've had a sample before. And I picked this up also at the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. Um, this, I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping this. This is the Baby Skin uh, Instant Pore Eraser. Um, I've only used it a couple of times, but every time I've used it, I haven't been satisfied with the results I've gotten. So, um, as of now, it's going to stay, but when I give it a little bit more of a go, I will determine whether it needs to be removed from the collection or not. We are kind of in limbo with this one. This one is another one in my panning games. This is the e.l.f. Beauty Shield SPF 50. Um, we're a lot thinner than we were before, but I only use this on days that I'm actually going out in the sun. And I will use this either under foundation like a primer as it's intended, or I will just use this as my SPF. <laughs> Kinda depends. I work graves though, so there's, especially this time of year, I don't see a lot of sun. So after the Angel Veil gets used up, I will probably just be using this every day until it is gone. Sorry if the lighting's horrible, I am using artificial light. We're also in my living room. Normally we're in my bedroom, but not today. And then this, this primer I got out of a boxy term. This is the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I feel like I like this a lot more than the baby skin and I do just kind of need to decide by side comparison because there's no reason to have two if I prefer this one more over this one. So um, we will see with that. Now get all these out of the way. Those over yonder. And we will address these three. So this is the eye primer I've been using 
for, I don't even know how long, I think I've had this for two years and we are close to being done with it. But almost every time I do my eyeshadow, I use this, it just, just doesn't go away. This is the uh, Ulta Nude Matte Eye Primer and it is there for the long haul. And this is technically not a primer, this is the NYX Mixing Medium, but I really didn't have another place to put it, so it's kind of like miscellaneous primer type thing. So it lives here, and then I also have the NYX Glitter Primer, and I use this on some of my loose pigments, so I can uh, get it to adhere better, because sometimes they don't uh, adhere as well as I would like them to. And those are the three eyeshadow primer or primer type things that I have. So all in all, that is 11 in just the primer category. Now, let's roll into foundation. We'll just scoot the majority of these over here. Oh. sure I'm in frame. The Fit Glow Beauty Foundation I talked about. This is the Vita Active Foundation. Fit Glow Beauty is a luxe green brand, and everything I've tried for them I really like. Uh, I picked this up because I had a, I think it was a 20% off through Beauty Heroes uh, the same month I had the uh, redness reducing uh, face cream, the redness rescue cream, in a uh, Beauty Heroes box because this was a sidekick. I really enjoy this. I wish I could use it more, but right now I'm focusing on things in my project and I don't have time for it. But once I'm done with the things in my project, I'm probably gonna come back to this. Hello, Pokemon Go. I am busy. Then this is the CoverGirl Healthy Vitalist Foundation Elixir. This is too dark, but it goes really quick. Like I'm already like, I think a quarter of the way done with this bottle. Um, I'm gonna probably pan this in the new year and get it out. Then this, so this actually stopped pumping the other day. There's a lot still stuck around, but when I untwist it, uh, it's kind of hard to um, scrape out. I'm going to try, but this is almost considered done. This is in my panning games. So we'll see how much I can get out of this. And then this, even though it's coming with me into the new year, it will not be long for the world. This is the Laura Geller First Light Luminous Primer. Um, this is an ivory, just so you know, the majority of these are all in the lightest shade. It's Cause I'm pale, I haven't said that. Um, I picked this up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I hadn't tried any Laura Geller products and I still have not tried this yet. <laughs> because there's too many things going on right now, but I'm hoping to give this a go soon. This is the Huda Beauty Foundation, uh, hashtag faux filter. This is in the lightest shade. This is actually too light. It's very, very light. It's also very drying and has a habit of looking cakey, but if I mix it with something, it's fine. If I use this on its own, it does cause breakouts on me, which most of the time things don't cause breakouts with me. When I get a reaction to something, it's normally like uh, an inflammation peeling reaction. This I actually like get like um, cystic acne blemishes with. So once this gets used up, which is slow going, uh, this will never be repurchased or brought into my uh, collection again. But because it's light, I'm able to mix it down with things. It's just because it's so thick, I have to be careful or it will look bad. We are on nine minutes now. This is the uh, Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. 
I've actually used a lot of this. You can kind of see there's a gap right here. Uh, that's because it's been laying on its side. When it's standing straight up, you don't see it as much. But I actually enjoy this as an everyday foundation. I just haven't been using it since I've been panning. Um, I don't like the applicator on this. I think everybody's already addressed the fact that this applicator is uh, gross and pointless and difficult to work with because you have to redip, and that's frustrating. So this, this is the It Cosmetic CC uh, Plus Illumination. I like the finish of this, but it doesn't have very much wear time. So depending on if I can, you know, get other things done and work this out, this will be gone by the end of the year, whether because I use it up or because I've just had enough of it. I really like the way it looks. It's just, it, it really doesn't last and it transfers like, like nobody's business. This is the Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation. Um, I heard somebody say it goes fast and it does because with one application we're already like down past the lip quite a bit. I picked this up because I had coupon and thought why not and this is in F1. Uh, so far, I have been enjoying it. The, like, I think I used it twice. Once is like a full foundation, one is like spot conceal. And so far, I've been liking it. But if it really does disappear as quickly as it seems like it's going to, it's probably not going to be a repurchase. Let's put all the things I haven't opened over here. We'll address those last. Um, this is the Alima Pure uh, Satin Matte Foundation in Cool One. I had the pressed foundation, which I used up at the beginning of last year, and I've been reusing the pan to repress things in it. I figured I should get the uh, original foundation, and when I do use it, I enjoy it, although I am not a fan of loose powders. So whenever I get around to using this up, I probably will just repurchase the pressed and not the uh, loose. There we go. Words are hard. This is the other thing in my foundations category for my panning games. This is the Collab Oh So Fresh Skin Tint. I picked this up the same time I picked up the Bright Spark Foundation. I don't think I actually told you what foundation that was, but yeah, the Bright Spark. Um, this is now this is the uh, Well People Bio Tint Multifunction, or sorry, Multi Action Moisturizer. This is a tinted moisturizer. The color is fair. A well People, again, is a clean brand. If you don't notice, I do have a taste for clean beauty. It's something that I enjoy uh, partaking in occasionally. Uh, this has an SPF 30. Uh, probably after I'm done with this tinted moisturizer, I'm going to be working on this one more. But uh, it's something I picked up. It is a little bit more peachy in color than I would like for a fair product, but you know. Everybody has their own ideas of what fair really is. Just like everybody seems to have their own concept of what deep really is, and the people that really are fair or really are deep don't seem to have much say in the matter, which is unfortunate. But uh, this is, again, a tinted moisturizer. This is my L'Oreal uh, Pro Matte Foundation. I've actually been mixing this with a little bit of the Collab Bright Spark Foundation. And this is pretty close to being gone. Hopefully I can get them both out at the same time. But I never know how much is in here. I feel like I get all the air out and then it just like refills. Which I feel is just a problem with the squeezy tubes I've been experiencing for a long time. But uh, I didn't design the packaging. This is in 101 Classic Ivory. Then I have these two little samples. These are Sappho New Pilgrimage uh, foundation samples. This one's in Mia, and this one's in Bryce. I got these when I got the Sappho CC Cream in a Beauty Heroes Discovery Box. I like the Discovery Boxes. Um, this came with a whole like collection of like base products. It came with a concealer, it also came with a mascara, but um, I haven't really played with these yet. They are the only two samples in this like category, but I didn't want to put them in my like sample box because I'm pretty sure I'll forget about them because that's what I do. Everybody forgets about their samples, I feel. 
it's an ongoing problem in the community. But as I mentioned, this is the Sappho CC cream. Uh, I have not opened this, that's why it's still in the box. And after I start working on the well people, I will give this a go at some point. Now for the last three things. So this is the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. Uh, I picked this up a while back, I just haven't gotten into it yet. Uh, this one is in light ivory. I'm still concerned that this might be too dark for me, but uh, we will see. And then these two I picked up this month uh, because it's my birthday and I do that. I think we all do that. That is very shiny, I apologize. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Foundation Stick. Uh, this is in the lightest shade. Where, where's the shade? Shade, shade, shade. Where's the shade? Light porcelain. And uh, I'm excited to give this a try. I've heard really good things about it, and I would like to see uh, if it holds up to whatever Buddha says. And then this is the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation, and I am super excited to give this a go. I like the idea that hopefully this will not transfer. Um, that's what I've been hearing at least in most of the reviews about it. I'm not super enthused about that it's probably going to smell, but uh, peaches and cream don't sound that bad. Not really, but it's, it's not something I prefer. Um, this is in the color Snow, which I'm pretty sure is the lightest shade. It's kind of hard to tell with some of the Too Faced products. And I've heard that their undertones are off. I've never tried a Too Faced foundation before, so we will see. And if I scoot these over, the additions. Oh, sorry if my carpet is bothering anybody. Uh, we have not vacuumed since Christmas, so there might still be little bits of like paper floating about. Um, these are my two foundation mixers. This is the shade adjustment drops from the body shop. These are like my uh, miscellaneous foundation category. And then this is the LA Girl Pro Cover White Mixer. This is unopened and unused and this is about half gone. I'm gonna make a point to finish this up this year. And that is all for my foundations and primers. So my total for foundations is 16 full size, two samples, and two mixers. Alright, so next up is going to be uh, concealers slash correctors and powders. Alright, I hope you guys stay tuned for that. <laughs> Bye!